Hey guys, this is Elliot Reed, osteopath and personal trainer at the Revitalized Health and Fitness Clinic. I hope you enjoyed our talk last week on diet programming. Now today we're going to talk about training programs. Now a lot of you might play sports, you might not and want to get into playing sports. This training program is going to guide you step by step on how to construct your own training program for that sport. First things first, let's head over to the gym so we can put our methods into practice. So, the key when constructing a training program based on a sport is isolating that sport down to the movement and the muscles used in that movement. What we're going to do today is take different examples of sports, the movements and the muscles used and construct our own exercises to help the ability of the athlete when playing these sports. If we use boxing as an example, we can see that while throwing a punch, we can see that the arm straightens and the shoulder moves back like so. So when we break down the movement, we can see that we need to incorporate extension, i.e. straightening at the arm, and horizontal extension, i.e. bringing back of the shoulder. As well as this, you'll see me rotate when we punch, which means that we need to work these muscles and these muscles to facilitate that movement. To incorporate all these movements is a superman, and you perform it like so. Press up position, left hand up, right foot up. at Gravely Grammar School will be avid rugby players. Here you need to incorporate good activation of your leg muscles to power through when you're sprinting as well as when you're in a scrum. Two exercises are good for this. One, a body weight jump and two, a weighted squat. So in a body weight jump you want to start off in a leg forward squat position and jump up to a platform and increase the height of the platform in increments each week. And for those over 18 years of age, you can move on to the weighted squat. What you need to do when you're implementing this into your training program is increase the weight by about 2.5 kilos each time you squat. Preferably keeping to three sets of five repetitions until you progress to a more advanced stage. So now that we've trained the movement, we can now move on to training the muscles in isolation. These are called isolation exercises. So remember that while squatting or while jumping, the hamstrings are very, very active and we can use a straight leg deadlift to isolate these muscles and train them. We know that the triceps, i.e. the back of the arms, are quite active when punching whilst boxing. So let's, let me show you how to train these muscles in isolation. And that's the end of the tutorial. Just a quick bit of guidance. For beginners, keep your main exercise, i.e. training the movement, the three sets of five. Keep your isolation exercises to two sets of ten. This will enable you to get the most out of each exercise.
Right. Now all you need to do is take your chosen sport, break down the movements of that sport and the muscles that you think are used in that sport and construct your own training program. Take the sheet that's been printed out for you, write down first of all the movement and second of all the muscles. Have a think of what might be used. Then construct your own training program based on the video. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. We're not even touching the potential of what you can achieve with good health and fitness advice. The Revitalized Clinic are always here to help. See our contact details after the video and feel free to pop in anytime to the Revitalized Clinic for a family consultation. Take care and all the best.